Hi, this is Jennifer S. Charles 12. I just wanted to do a quick video um, about accepting your body. Um, when I first lost weight, um, I was talking about um, getting a tummy tuck and a, um, and my breast done and all this stuff. And, um, and it was like so much self-hate and different things. And so um, I went to a plastic surgeon, and then I started thinking about, you know, I could die because, um, you know, I had uh, trouble when I had my son with my C-section healing. So then I started, you know, to rethink that decision because my insurance said they would pay a portion of it, and then um, I would pay a portion of it. So I decided not to have it. Um, and then, you know, I started going to the gym, and, you know, at the gym, there's all these mirrors. There's a mirror. There On all four walls, there was mirrors. And so then I started to um, love myself, and I started to care for my body and fall in love with my body. Um, so basically, you just have to um, love your body at whatever size you are. Um, Cause I, I see a lot of people they you know hate their body and and they're you know doing um you know doing whatever to change their body or whatever and so I just feel like you gotta love your body at whatever size you are because um you know it's very expensive these surgeries and different things and so I you know I was thinking about all this and um basically I did a lot of things to to ruin my body by um, constantly, you know, because I took my weight up to over 300 pounds, um, maybe twice in my life, and um, that did a lot of damage to my body by having loose skin, and um, you know, because when you're when you're gaining all that weight, it it does a lot of um, damage to your body because because um, I have been previously married and so I had gained over over hundreds of pounds and then um with my son i gained i i was at 166 and went all the way up to 280 pounds and then um previously i i was probably over 300 pounds so it did a lot of damage to my body and so you know um i just had to fall in love with my body with for the way it is because when i lost weight in my 20s my body um, was, a, you know, it looked a lot better because I was in my 20s and I was lifting weights and exercising. And so I wish I would have just continued um, to exercise. And I wish I wouldn't have um, gained so much weight in my pregnancy. But now, you know, I just have to uh, accept my body the way it is. Um, you know, my body's not perfect. You know, I have a, a larger stomach. But with exercise, my body has, um, you know, it's not bad. And my arms are not out of proportion, so I can wear sleeveless garments. And um, when, I, when I do not um, overeat, my stomach does not look bad or whatever. And, it, and I don't try and wear my clothes too tight or anything, so my stomach is not a problem. Because, like, some people try and wear, like, the the tightest and smallest clothes so then their 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 stomach is a problem but it, like i try and wear like a medium or a large so then my you know stomach does not look bad so um you know i've just been able to accept my body for the way it is and i look good in my clothes and um i'm just happy with my, with the weight loss and i just feel like um you have to love yourself and love your body because, you know, it may take, some people can lose weight very quickly. I see on the news sometimes people will say they were four or 500 pounds or 300 pounds and they lost a couple hundred pounds in five months. It took me um, a year and four months to lose 140 pounds. So my weight loss is very slow. So I had to um, pamper myself and love myself 
you know, because I would look in the mirror and not see any results of my weight loss. And no one around me could tell that I was losing weight because I had a very round face and um, I had lost maybe 50 or 60 pounds and I still could not, no one could tell on the outside that I had lost weight because of, because of the shape of my body. So, um, cause some people, you know, when you lose 50 or 60 pounds, you can tell right away because of the shape of their body, but because of the shape of my body and because I'm only, um, five, three, you could not tell that I had lost any weight. So it was very frust frustrating to me, but, um, after I had lost maybe a, maybe, maybe about 95 pounds, then you could tell that I had lost a lot of weight. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just, um, I, I finally, I have accepted my body and I think having all the mirrors at the gym has helped me. And if you don't have a gym where you can look in the mirrors, and, cause I go to the group fitness and all the mirrors are in the group fitness room, so you can look in the mirror and accept your body. If you don't have that, maybe you should get a full lift mirror at your house so you can look in the mirror and accept your body. Because some people never have a full lift mirror. They don't go in the dressing room to try on clothes because that full lift mirror really helps you um, accept your body because you can see every um, imper imperfection. It, you know, it really helps you um, see your body for what it is. And if you never see that, then I think um, you can't accept your body for what it is. Because if you're only looking at your body from the neck up or whatever, then you don't really see your body. Well, comment, rate, and subscribe.